Hello, this is Christian Duke from strengthaddicts.com and also yearningfortruth.com. I'm making this video in the hopes that Charles Pace of the BDSA will see this. Also, Clive Doyle, Ron Cole, Amor Roden, all those involved in the Branch Davidian Seventh-day Adventist movement. I plan on making a trip to Waco, Texas sometime in March or April of 2014. I plan on shooting a series of interviews and I hope to do a project not on the siege, not on the uh, assault on Mount Carmel, but on Mount Carmel in the 1980s and even in the early 1990s, but primarily in the 80s. I want to know about the Branch Davidian Seventh-day Adventist. I want to know about the movement. I want to know about what Ben and Lois Roden tried to do at Mount Carmel, as, as well as Victor Hutev. And really, I want to do it because I'm looking for truth. I'm looking for truth in the scripture. I'm looking for truth in life. I've been a lifelong Catholic, but I'm very interested in Adventism. Uh, I'm a vegetarian. I don't necessarily agree with the Catholic Church on a lot of uh, things. For instance, salvation. The Catholic Church teaches us that salvation is gained through faith and good works. And i got to be honest with you, I don't believe that's the case. I believe that faith primarily, or salvation primarily, is based on faith. Faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Good works are great, and good works, we should all strive to do good works. But I believe that salvation rests upon the bedrock of faith, and faith alone. Uh, but I'm also interested in understanding more about Adventism, about the true Sabbath, understanding about Revelation, and understanding about how the Old and the New Testament come together. Because as Christians, I believe we sort of disregard the Old Testament as sort of fulfilled, as if it no longer has a purpose. And we focus only on the New Testament. And, I, and I've never liked that. I also never liked the fact that we don't study the Bible. We Catholics don't study the Bible the way that Adventists study the Bible. Or the way that even some Protestants study the Bible. So, again, for me, this is going to be a search, a quest for truth. Yearningfortruth.com is the name of the page. It's a blog right now. But I'm looking to really understand what they try to do at Mount Carmel. And I don't want to attack the Koresh followers. I don't want to attack the current uh, Lord Our Righteousness movement. I just want to understand. I want to see what everybody contributed. And I just want to be able to share that in a video project with the world. If we can enter it into film festivals, that would be great. But again, I'm not looking to, I'm not looking to make a product that I can sell. I'm making to make a documentary with the people that really were involved and show the world, look, this is what Mount Carmel was all about. This is what's going on in Mount Carmel right now. This is what went on in Palestine. This is what went on. And this is important because people need to understand that taking the Bible literally is not a kooky thing. It's actually a very uh, important thing for your salvation. I mean, People are, are, all people care about is what they see around them right now, in the here and now. They don't understand that we're here just for a very short amount of time, and that eternity, uh, eternity, our role in eternity is at play. And it, it doesn't matter what goes on in this world, it doesn't matter who the president is, it doesn't matter what party's in office or what trend is in style. That's so trivial, and people th seem to think it's the, the end-all and be-all of everything. Worldly affairs, and worldly affairs don't amount to squat. And so this is really me yearning for truth. It's me wanting to talk to Branch Davidians, because I have to tell you something. I'm 35 years old. I went to Catholic school, baptized, confirmed, First Communion, all that stuff, and I'm still questioning things like, Sunday is not the Sabbath. I know very well it's not. I'm wondering why we don't read the Old Testament. I'm wondering why, you know, I was baptized when I was a baby. When I, as a baby, I didn't accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I was a baby. Why was I baptized as a baby? Why shouldn't I be baptized as an adult when I can volitionally, when I can knowledgeably accept Christ as my Lord and Savior and then be baptized? And why was I baptized in a little pool? Why didn't they take me to a river like John the Baptist did? I, I'm having a lot of doubts and a lot of, like, you know, concerns. So that's why I'm making this video project.